It's like a percentage percentage LSE. Today's date, October 30th, 2023. And I'm going to be doing a video on a longer Ray 5 10 watt laser engraver. So we're going to do this here and uh, go from there. But uh, I'm not going to show a how to how to build it video. I'm going to build it, then I'll get back with you guys just because. There's already a lot of videos out there that show you how to build it. So let me put it together, figure out, and uh, I'll come back and show you guys what kind of projects we're going to be doing with this. All right, I have it all built. Uh, I ended up putting my son's room just for right now, but uh, what I'm going to do before I test it out, I'm going to go get a um, piece of plywood to put underneath it just because I'm worried. Um, these little pieces of wood, they gave me a little thin, and I'm worried if I go too... Uh, too strong on it while I'm doing my test prints it's gonna go through and damage the floor which we do not want so I'm gonna measure this find out um, what type of wood I have and I'm gonna get a um, I gotta see what kind of plywood I have I should have some plywood hopefully and then uh, I'll cut it to size put it underneath and we'll go from there so let me get that done and uh, walk it back with you guys all right so I think I had this set perfect I'm gonna say perfectly but if you see um, when I do the framing, I don't know how good that's going to come out, but it stays on the wood, so that's what I want. So it says bird ray, generally bass wood engraving GC pastime one. Let's go with two. Actually, no, let's go back. Let's uh, frame. Okay, it still says one, so that's good. We'll check it. Uh, let me put my glasses on. Oh, it looks like it's already engraving. I started engraving without even realizing it. So, the fan's not on, but. So, it looks like it started engraving. I have my glasses on, so that's good. It actually came with glasses, so we'll see. Uh, real quick, while that's engraving up, this bottom piece of wood, I cut it 25 by 24. Just to kind of make sure it fit in there perfectly. Uh, I believe if there's legs I could probably print on my 3D printer, which I'm going to end up, or yeah, on my 3D printer. My uh, So I'll probably end up printing some legs on this so I can actually screw this onto the piece of wood so it's just one piece together. So I'm going to do that. Uh, being in here you can kind of smell the wood burning a little bit so let me open up a window real quick and um just want you guys to know that um this laser engraver is not a um not like something that the company sent me to do a uh, advertisement on it's something that was uh i don't want to say it was given to me but it was uh i didn't pay for the engraver it belongs to uh james reed who's uh one of my patreon followers so he uh Kind of purchased it and uh, gave it to me to see how I like the setup and stuff on it to see if it's something I want to invest in the future or not. So I told me yeah, I'd set it up and play with it for a little bit, see how I like it and stuff, and go from there. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking of doing is um, with the 3D printer, I printed out some plastic um, coasters. So what I want to do next is print out some. Uh, either print out some uh, not plastic holster but either some leather holsters or some wood uh, not coasters coasters sorry some wood coasters or leather coasters and see how those go out with our logo on it um i'm thinking uh get purchasing the rotator for it to do cups and maybe do a um do um some cups for some of my guys at work this prints pretty quick it's already at 83 percent so We'll see how it goes, and then uh, we'll, I'm going to play around with it a little bit, and I'm not even sure what I'm printing right now. He just said something. Uh, a bass wood engraving. It says a bird, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'll let it finish printing, and then once it's done, I'll show you guys the end result, see how it came out. All right, so I actually finished. I don't know if that comes out, but you can see it's some birds on there. I don't know if that's too deep or if that's the way they're supposed to look. Oh, what? But I mean, let me see if that's going to focus. Looks like it printed up a couple owls. So it's pretty good detail on it, but I'd like to see. Um, I don't know if it's too deep, not deep enough, or what the heck's going on with it. Let me, uh, luckily, it came with all this test wood. So 
let's check uh, another one here. Let's see, frame it. All right, nope. Let me adjust you a little bit more. Maybe put it this way here. Let's see. Frame. All right. <laughs> It's supposed to be a compass that it's supposed to engrave here. So let's see how. All right, let me go. Low speed, mid speed, or high speed is what we have. And we have 10 millimeters, 0.1 millimeter, 1 millimeter. Hmm. Let me try one millimeter on this one, see what it does. It says past times one. Let's see how that looks there. Let's check it. All right, so I'm gonna let this print and then uh, once it gets done, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like, all right? All right, well, here's the compass. It's doing a shadow for some odd reason. I don't know why. Gotta figure out how to keep that. You can see the top, see how it's, uh, Came out pretty good. I just don't know why it's doing a shadow. I gotta figure that out. Let me uh let's see if I can figure it out and we'll go from there. So I tried it at slower speed and it's still giving me a shadow, which I don't know why you can see on both ends there. So and then looking at these the birds here, they also look like they have somewhat of a shadow, not too bad, but yeah, so I'm trying to something else. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna go online and see what I can uh what I can find but yeah let me um try this I'm doing the logo right now I think it's the longer logo so I'm doing that and then uh, we'll go from there all right so I did the longer one as you can see there is no uh shadowing on that one so it must be the the programs for those there so um I'm gonna go figure out what programs I can use for this I know I can uh use some programs online for free and play around with it and uh see what else I can engrave I have some other on this piece of wood here, I had some pieces of that wood left over. I'll probably cut them into smaller pieces and maybe um, just test out some stuff with that there and see what I can uh, what I can accomplish. But yeah, this is this project here and we'll go from there. All right, so it took a little bit, but I finally got it. As you can see there, it needs I need a little bit of a tweaking on it. It didn't come out that great, but it's it's there. It's a little bit... Um, I don't know. I think it's looks pretty, looks okay for being like. I'm gonna say my first one because I'd made some other attempts. There was that one there, that one there. On this one here, the piece of wood moved on me, as you can see on the on the. Oh, let me flip over. See right there how it all kind of goes like that. So yeah, and then I did this one here, and that was the first one that came out pretty good, but it was too small, so I ended up. Uh, enlarging it making it a little bit bigger and then went with that one there so uh i am in my son's room and one thing i discovered is i'm gonna have to set this machine up outside because it smokes a lot it actually set up the the smoke alarm so i actually had to run in here and uh take the battery out of it to, yeah the smoke alarm right there so to take the battery out so probably have to set this up outside to make sure everything works or not make sure everything works properly but just to prevent my son's room from filling up with smoke because yeah it's still full of smoke maybe you guys could just get a little bit of a mess but yeah you can see it's a little bit of smoke and i have the window open and uh I have... yeah so it came out you know it came out okay i'm gonna play with some other stuff maybe see how i can improve it maybe if i make it a little bit bigger it'll come out better just because um it's supposed to say tucson arizona there you can't really read that this is supposed to say uh Rancho Preciado LLC, and yeah, you can't really read that. Uh, you can read her name up here a little bit, but it didn't come out that great. I don't know why there's that little thing there, but you look at the, you see. Yeah, if you look at the actual, how it's supposed to look, it's kind of like that. And so, I don't know, I'm at the, like I said, I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Maybe I got to make it a little bit more bigger. I don't know, we'll see, but... um. I'm going to play around with the computer a little bit more. Then I'm going to set this thing up outside. 
And uh, I'm actually going to probably, I think there's some, uh, like I said earlier, I was going to 3D print some lakes for this thing. So I'm going to see what I can find. And I'll probably do that also just so that I can um, drill it onto this piece of wood here and keep it on there permanently. But yeah, so let me play around with this a little bit more. And then I'll probably, once I get all that done, I'll show you guys and we'll go from there. All right, so there it is. It's uh, engraving right now. And as you can see, all that smoke that's coming out of it. So yeah, that's why I brought it outside. So you guys a little this is what it's supposed to be green it might still be too small so i might have to make it just a tad bit bigger as you guys can see but that's fine that's why i have it out here so i can uh play with it around out here and actually um i have it on this piece of board and then this board here's the one i'm cutting using also i have this one here i can cut and make smaller but right now i just have it on these uh these little what is it a horse legs right now to Pull this up out here for me but yeah we'll let this print we'll show it to you guys and then we'll go from there but i think i gotta figure out how to fine tune everything go in and uh fine tune it but we'll let it print it has like three more it's like it has two more minutes so i'll get back with you guys in a little bit oh well there's the end result you can see it didn't come out that guy i think it was too small and um i ended up just burning the wood so there's a little bit of shadowing up there on the top so i'm going to play with it around with it a little bit more see if i can get this one here to probably come out more like that one and go from there but you can see this one you could now you can't even make out tucson arizona or or rancho Preciado, but it definitely looks a lot better than over here so i'm playing around with it that'll be it for this video because it's probably a lot longer than i expected but like i said i'll keep playing with it i'll give you guys updates on it and we'll go from there but Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I want to thank James for letting me borrow this and mess around with it for a little bit and uh, go from there. But thanks.